the heat cut on. y'all all those wires in there but i did it your girl got heat it's connected to my alexa and i can work it from my phone y'all hear that heat uh, uh, uh. y'all hear that heat oh, the single mom versus this fixer upper i did that i did that hey my gators welcome back to how to diy and save a dime so in this video this is not a tutorial I was excited because this is something I was very intimidated by. I had my Waze smart thermostat installed last year, over a year ago, and the guy did not do it right. If you guys have been rocking with me for a while, you know that last Christmas we spent that in a hotel because I had no heat and my pipes froze because he did not install it incorrectly. And so this year I was determined not to let that happen. This was very intimidating to have to uninstall the first one and install a whole new system but this one works better because it will work with my alexa this is an amazon smart thermostat by honeywell and guys it was intimidating this is not a tutorial make sure you do your research figure out everything you need to do make sure that power from that breaker is off first and foremost and enjoy this video and i just share with you kind of what i did to get mine in later get this Right, guys all right let's jump into it i'm the single mom versus the fixed rubber and i'm going to be changing a thermostat for the first time on my own and so what i'm going to do is remove this waze thermostat is brand new but it was connected wrong and so yeah we're going to unhook this i cut the power off to the actual furnace and no power is coming to this and that's what you want to do first so i did watch several youtube university videos <laughs> and the new one is going to be this one here this is the one that i am going to be changing let me get me a thumbnail hold on y'all this is a new one and it is a smart thermostat by amazon and it is I already got the Alexa app because I have Alexa around my house. Follow the in-app instructions to install your thermostat. So, I can't do that because I'm recording with my phone. So, yeah. This looks different from the one that is shown. Hold on. This is all of the stuff <clears throat> that came inside the actual box here. So it does say you need a drill and you also need a drill bit to drill holes because I think the other plate needs to be anchored on and that is going to be this plate here is going to replace I guess this one this way oops this way so let's get this um first let's unwire these and get this piece off so you're supposed to just be able to basically lift up on the piece and pull them out or either push back hold on so basically what i'm getting ready to do is press in on these really tight and then just pull oh lord jesus i didn't mean to do that i just have to expose some more of this wire <sighs> this one it already had broke from the guy before that's why i'm taking it out because it's not even a, a flab to push the white, the red down, but I'm going to get it out. Um, so on the blue down here, we're going to push down on that, pull that out. On the white, we're going to push down on that, pull that out. Now, I got to get this red out. This red has to come out, but I don't know how, what I need to push back on to pull this out because the piece is literally gone. Hold on, guys. See what I mean? How the tab is broken off over the red. All the ones that were in were compressed down. This tab is literally broken off. So I got to figure out how to get the red out without mutilating it. Well, I did kind of break the green, but at least I still have some exposed to use for the new thermostat. So I'm going to try to take these and push this back like that. Boom. Got it out. So now I'm going to unscrew this to take this off. He's long. <laughs> yeah, I think this Amazon one is going to be so much better for me. All right. Take that off. Discard this. Now I have to get this plate off because I want to put this one on um, to install the new one. 
So basically, we're going to pry that piece off. Jeez. Like that. Discard that. <laughs> So, I do want to put these in this way. This is how this is going to be. We already got one hole. Let's see if that screw will work for that one hole. That way I can just do one more hole. This screw will fit for this hole. Yep, this is exactly where it's gonna go. I can always paint around there. And then, um, we're gonna get those two holes I think I do need to put the anchor in hold on let's put the anchors in I'm gonna pre-drill the holes make sure this is level hold on now I just did this so we can see if we can use this hole I'm gonna take this off because this needs to go on first so we're gonna take this off and then I'm gonna place this down on that first hole and then I'm gonna drill my holes through this so I can know where I need to put my anchors on this is not secure we're just gonna take that off Remember the power is off, so I just use a knife just to cut a little slit in this green in case this happens to you because you want the copper exposed. That's, a, that's what you're going to stick inside of this. So let's get this on. And it literally says pull. So you're going to pull that down. You're going to squeeze all of these through here like so, like that. And we're going to put that screw in right there. Let me get it. All right, let's get that started. And then that one already has a anchor in it. <clears throat> this is my first time, so it's not going to be as quick. Okay, that's that's nice and I guess tight enough. <laughs> so then I'm going to utilize this to put a hole in each space here so that I can create the holes for my new anchors so now I just put this down so I can take my drill bit and make these holes a little bigger enough for the anchors to fit inside like that on each side and then we're going to place this back up and put the screw through the actual bracket thingy like that all right guys so we're going to put one in it's hard to hold this in here we go I'm gonna get it started with my hand the top one seems a little loose but long as it's tight on these ends I'm just gonna leave it okay there we go so we're gonna tighten this Go. Make sure this is nice and tight, and then put this one in the top one. See that one was kind of loose, but it don't matter because this is this is sturdy. That anchor just seemed like it was a little too loose for that screw. But let's get these connections in. All right, so now what we're going to do is follow the color coordinates. So it is yellow green and the C is for blue and then on this side we have white and red so we're gonna put them in accordingly you're just gonna take and press this into pull this back pull it back and stick the actual piece into the item like that okay where it can't come out there we go hold on or do you I'm sorry guys as you push them in on the side you're gonna see the little tabs come out so we got yellow and then the next one we need is green we're gonna push that right in here and as you see that tab is moving you want it all the way in so it is pushed in as far as it can go hold on okay and then we have the blue we're gonna push the blue in as far as we can get it. I gotta get this green to get pushed in a little bit further. It's not deep enough. Um, hold on. So I got the yellow in. You can see that's protruded. The green, 
and then we have the C. Now the green, I need to get it pushed in a little bit more. It's not in far enough for it to, for this, see how these tabs are further down than the uh, green one? So we need that green one to really be pushed in. Hold on, okay, I got it in and I went and tugged it in as tight as I could. So now on this side, we're gonna push the red in. like that and you want to see that go all the way down and then we're going to push the white in you want to see that one go all the way down you want to push these into this box like so like that all right and that's what it's looking like so far and you see all of them pressed down on each side all right we are all wired let's see what the next step is all right so now it's time to close this okay all the prongs that you see here should automatically plug in to the ones that are already down so we're going to take it on and see put it on and then we got to get some power all right guys it says set it's powered on it's powered on and let's see what the next step is now what I have to do which is going to be easier for you because I'm trying to record from my phone and my app is on my phone so I have to go into the app to finish the settings let me do that tell you how that process went and then we'll go from there but it'll be easier for you because you can just do it along with your phone because the app should give you step by step like I just did all right uh, it's working it's working it's working I literally just installed my own smart Amazon thermostat. Oh my gosh, it's working. That shows heat. Y'all, one of the wires broke on me and I had to literally take, I cut the power off and I took like a sharp knife and not recommended, I'm not an electrician. This is what works for me. This is what I had to do for my home. It is 31 degrees outside. I couldn't play I had to figure this out I was so intimidated but I did it this is the single mom versus the fixer-upper listen let me tell you so let me see if I can do it I want to see what happens I did it y'all the video gonna be a little lengthy because it was my first time and I was walking y'all through me doing it myself the heat cut on <laughs> y'all all those wires in there and all, one of the wires broke on me, one of the tabs broke on me, but I did it. Your girl got heat, it's connected to my Alexa and I can work it from my phone. Y'all hear that heat? Y'all hear that heat? Hoo -hoo. The single mom versus this fixer upper, I did that. I did that. Y'all have were, I didn't even put <laughs> the, the thing on. I gotta go back. This is the smart one I took off. Y'all got all my tools and everything. I did it. That's all that matters. All that matters is we got heat. And your girl did not get defeated. It was intimidating because I ain't no electrician or no HVAC guy. But since we got heat later on, I'll put this on some other time. I ain't going to fool with it. I'm going to leave it be. Y'all hear that heat? Oh, I did it, y'all. <laughs> Lady Gators talks to me in the comments because I talk back. I be getting stuff done. Now I got to go in there and destroy this caulk around the tub and re the tub. Lady, y'all, I did it. I got a new thermostat. I put it in my safe. They was trying to charge me. I'm like, I put it in my safe. Lady, y'all, 